What's up guys? Today we are watching episode 4 of The Last of Us. So, last episode was a long episode. We learned of how Billy and Frank met, how they got together, how they became friends with Joel and Tess. I think her name was Tess, I'm forgetting her name already. But how they became friends and how they died. And by the end of the episode we saw that Joel and Ellie went back to where they live and were able to get supplies and found the note that they left so now they're able to actually go find Joel's brother to get Ellie to where she needs to go and this was like a whole thing now because that whole episode was so long for them just to die and I need to get over it but we're continuing now so I guess let's just get into the episode The fact that you just pointed at yourself in a mirror, it's like, I know you're not going to pull the trigger, but then also, why? And Joel still doesn't even know she has that gun, right? Because didn't she take it? So you did pull the trigger, it just wasn't loaded. Cause didn't you take the shit out? It looked, yeah, it, it wasn't loaded. Pretty much nowhere. Nice, how does that work? It's a siphon. That literally looked like what I just saw in, what's it called? Breaking Bad that I watched the other day from the newer episode I watched. Two, like T-O-O. <laughs> what did the mermaid wear to her math class? An algebra. Like, <laughs> algebra. Come on, crack a smile. Stick big ass plows on them and clear the roads for their tanks and such. I wanna see a tank. You will. Tanks, choppers, all that stuff. Why is she in the back seat now? Got something else. It's uh, right on the reading, but it has some interesting pictures. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. Why are all these pages stuck together? Uh. <laughs> Speechless. All right, that's enough for today. Oh, they're gonna like find somewhere to sleep. It's kind of smart though, because I mean, if you keep going and then you have to stop again to get gas it, it'll be dark and harder because in fact you don't see the smoke no fungus isn't that smart this is too remote for infected anyway people oh so there might be people nearby that's why you can't start a fire mm. actually smells kind of good well that would be frank's then <laughs> <laughs> Joel. Joel. What? I thought he was just ignoring her. Because he was out standing in his field. <laughs> Maybe he did. Those people you said. There's no way anyone knows we're here, right? No one's gonna find us. 
There might always be a possibility, to be honest. If no one was going to find you, then why are you sleeping with a gun? But he's probably just saying that to make her feel better. So he's staying up all night to make sure no one comes up on him. If he did fall asleep though, I kind of thought that maybe he would wake up with his own gun in his face from someone. Oh, what the fuck is that? You don't like coffee? Ew. Who the hell likes coffee? Well, his was a lot fresher than what Bill saved up, but yeah, this is what they sold. It smells like burnt shit. It never smells that good. Or tastes good, matter of fact, so... Tommy. Younger or older? Younger. Why isn't he with you? Long story. Is it longer than 25 hours? Because I think that's what we got. Give her a story or something past the time unless you want to listen to the thingies again when Tommy meets Marlene she talks me to join in the fireflies same mistake he made when he was 18 do we not like Marlene I I can't tell quit the fireflies too so now he's on his own out there and I gotta go get him. As the good brother you are. That's about it. I'm not family. No. Your cargo. But I made a promise to Tess. And she was like family. Man. Sooner or later, you're gonna say she's somewhat family. You got up pretty early if you want to grab more sleep. I'm not even tired. <laughs> Already passed out. So someone fully blocked that path with a whole ass truck. Cause I'm assuming it wasn't there last time. Are they gonna have to like, go on foot from here since they can't get the truck around? Like that's ass, like the truck did get them far but now they have to be on foot since the truck can't fit under that. Where are we? Kansas City. How far back do we have to go to get around this? Yeah, I figured they were just gonna go around. So there is none? Well, take the next ramp, and we're back on the road minute tops. I don't know why I thought they were just about to get like blocked in for a second for some reason. Like random people were about to come up. It's Fedra. Hey. Um. Please help. Put your seatbelt on. Are you about to run this man over? I low-key would have said just leave the truck and go under the other one so we didn't have to go through this, but... And they're not gonna hit you. Look at me! They're not gonna hit you. you. Stay down, you stay low, you stay quiet. And if you have your bag, you'll have your gun. So if they do come after you, pow pow, bitch.
so there's no talking this out. Like, you literally won't l try and talk it out. He's dead. Because it's all. Yep. Figured. But it's like now they're screwed. These random people coming from nowhere. Are you fucking dead? You fucking killed yourself, motherfucker. Ellie's about to. Oh, I thought she was gonna use her gun. But then that would tell Joel that she has it. But she might do it anyway. That looked like she shot way down though. So it's like, imagine if she shot a shot doll on the ground, but she didn't. It's too far. <laughs> My mom isn't far. If you can get me to her. <laughs> How do you expect them to get you to her if their car is now like they can't drive because you popped the tires. <laughs> Don't you be mad at her, bitch. She saved your life. It's a good night. <laughs> Get back behind the wall. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, please. We could just talk. He doesn't want her to see it. Ellie, I gotta get in there. I can't fit through. You see, now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, did you have to kill him? Like, yeah, he was trying to kill you. You could have left him for dead. I'm okay. I'm good. I uh, got some food in here still, and I got your light, so... What now? He's not. Oh, y'all aren't gonna talk about her having the gun. Run! 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 That seems close to where they base. Like, it seems like where they came from, but I know it's not. Just like another part of it, I guess. Henry Burrell. Okay. You know where Henry is. Because he paused a little bit. Oh, you were wronged. And I'm sorry. But this has gone too far. Is that sincere, though? And we know that he's still in the city. And I think that you know that too. Why are you protecting him? Like, she'll literally kill you. Oh. So they found the bodies of... The truck loaded. It's not a Fedra vehicle, but they were heavily supplied. Could be Mercs. That dude looks familiar. <laughs> Figured that was gonna happen. I just, I don't know why I thought she was all about to open a cell and then it would have been Joel's brother or something. They're not Fedra and they're not Fireflies, so who are they? People. Are we okay in here? That's not specific, but I was also thinking the same thing because I thought that might have been the Firefly group or whatever, but apparently not. Are you okay? I'm 
All right. Killing someone is never you, easy. All right. Yeah. And that's a twist of you asking her. Someone like that. If you, uh, Yeah, you really aren't. I mean, it was my fault. I thought he was about to say, if you want to talk about it, you know, just say it. And I'm sorry. Oh. It's not your fault, though. It wasn't my first time. Who did you shoot the first time? Show me your grit. I see you're giving it back. Not that I should be happy about it, but it's also like she, again, needs to be able to defend herself. It's down on the right. Got it? There you go. Look it. <laughs> Look, maybe you shouldn't be doing that while you're in front of it. Or wait, didn't he, did he take the shit out? So... Even if it did pull the trigger, he wouldn't get hit. Yeah, he did. Uh-uh. You put it in your pack. You shoot your damn ass off. He's starting to get a sense of humor. Is it, is it gonna accidentally go off in her pocket sooner or later? How do you have sign of them up there? Like, how did you find that? Like... That might be where, what's his name, was staying. Tommy, Joel's brother, if he's there. But then that also looks like kid drawings. They're out of food. Henry won't let Sam starve. Double the guards around our provisions. He's fucking close. I can feel it. Oh, so we're talking about this Henry dude. I don't know why I was thinking about Tommy being there. Fuck. What? It's broken ground. Broken ground that just moved. With water? Because it looked like a wave that went under it. Put it here. One, two. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Straighten up. I got you. That's a lot of noise. And there seems like it sounded like a car was nearby. And that's dangerous. Where'd you be without me, huh? By now, Wyoming. Oh. <laughs> Not all the way. How far? As far as I can make it. <laughs> it's gonna be a long way up. Going upstairs is one thing. Like, it's hard. But going downstairs is way easier. I've been on both sides. It was a long time ago, we did what we needed to survive. So that's why he had to kill him. Did you kill innocent people? 
Come on. Doesn't want to answer it, but that's how you know that's a yes. Get up, you lazy ass. <sighs> lazy ass. 56 years old, you little shit. <laughs> Crunch, crunch, crunch. Are you sure you're gonna hear it? Of course I'll hear it. That's the damn point. Okay. Maybe not, because it didn't seem like you slept the other night, so you might be knocked out. Yeah. When we were talking about hurting people, what did you mean it wasn't your first time? You didn't answer her question earlier. So should she answer you? It isn't fair, your age, having to deal with all of this. But it's the kind of world they live in, where you have to, in a way. The reason I asked whether you'd hear the glass or not is because I've noticed you don't hear too well from your right side. Is it because you were shot there? She been paying attention. Joel? Hmm. Did you know diarrhea is hereditary? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? It runs in your genes. My god. I didn't think about that for a second. I was like, what the fuck do you mean? But... That is so goddamn stupid. <laughs> you laughed, motherfucker. Well, I didn't laugh. Yes, you did. Jeez, <laughs> You're losing it big time. <gasps> Joel? Joel! What did I say? Sooner or later, they were gonna get woken up with a gun in their face, but this time it's just not his own. You see, I thought we were about to get a good ending. Like, with them laughing off, fading into the distance, I thought that was gonna be the end of, like, the, end of the episode, but then no. They have to get woken up with a gun on their face. I I felt like it was gonna happen too. Cause I mean, he needed sleep cause it didn't seem like he slept the other night. So I figured this might happen, but then I was kind of hoping not with how the little moment went. Like we were having a good time and then now we're not having a good time. <sighs> See, every episode I think, like I was hoping we were gonna get a good ass ending but that's not how it's gonna be in this show. But it's like, how did they even get found? They were in a tall ass building that has many rooms. How did they get found? Like, yeah, the glass thing was smart for Joel to do even though he didn't hear it, but also big ass building. That It takes a lot of time to check different rooms. Or maybe they already knew that they were there and like they were kind of getting followed. I don't know. But it's like a little kid was holding a gun to Joel's face. And we were just talking about Ellie holding a gun and shooting someone. But that kid is younger than her. So it's like, again, in the world that they live in, they kind of don't have a choice at whatever age. Like... It's sad, but the reality of this world, of this show, like, every episode, Joel and Ellie's relationship seems to be getting better, and like, it still does, but then there's the moments, like, earlier, whenever she was asking, like, am I family in a way, and he told her no, but I don't want to say in a mean way, but like, he was also telling the truth. And it was kind of sad in the moment, but I feel like eventually it's going to get to that point to where he can maybe kind of call her family. Maybe that won't happen, but I feel like with the way they're going, it might. Because, like, he, he already seems to be caring about her in a way. So it's like, I feel like it's just going to happen. But it's like, I'm still kind of confused as to how, like, 
they've been looking for the brother for a whole episode now and we haven't seen that man not that he's gonna get found like immediately like yeah it take like it takes time but also i don't want to say i thought he would have already been found but of course there's gonna be obstacles like can't use the truck anymore because their tires got popped and then now these people like it's gonna take even longer to find the brother unless like they know where he is because we still don't even know where man is he could be anywhere around the area that they were talking about so we never know but i'm surprised that this episode was only like 44 minutes usually the episodes are way longer like the other three last episode was an hour and 15 minutes the other ones were at least an hour long this one's just 15 minutes less basically but it's weird that it's so short but we still have more episodes so i don't care but i'm ready to see what's gonna happen with that whole situation because like it's weird now that they are waking up to people trying well i don't want to say trying to kill them because they would have already been dead because they were sleeping but you know what i mean so yeah i'm ready to see what's gonna happen with that whole situation so i guess come back for episode five